And what if facts are just misinterpreted as truths, you know? Like they're just Mm. things that we misinterpret as the truth at any given point in time. That's why facts change and truths don't, you know, because they're misinterpreting something. Because the reason why I say misinterpret, because you said we couldn't go out into space. You know, we couldn't go out into space. We didn't have the technology to know whether the earth was the center of the universe or not. But we believe that was, we believed it as an ultimate truth. But then when we did have the technology to do it, then we were able to verify like, hey, no, the earth is not the center of the universe like we thought it was. And now we have scientific data. We have measurements. Now we have the correct interpretation. So maybe it's just a misinterpretation of reality that leads to, you know, facts changing. I don't know. What is a truth and what is a fact? Is there a difference to each one? Like facts are established truths. They're established things that we believe are true about the universe. And truths are bigger than facts. I could I could see that, like, because they're like almost the overarching things. I wonder if like fact a group of facts make up bigger truths, you know, like we discover mm. certain facts about the world, and that helps us to say what's true and what's not true. If we kind of break it separately, a fact in itself is something that is, for example, true to a certain point, right? So for example, uh, right now, I'm not sure what basketball team holds the most championships won, right? Well, let's say another team catches up and eventually surpasses the amount of championships that, that they have. So at first, the first team, let's say it's team A, had the most championships. They had 20 championships won. We can say it's a fact that the A team has the most won championships in in the US, in the NBA, for example. Mm -hmm. But then team B surpasses them and 2020, 2041, they they, uh, surpass them and now they have 21 championships. championships won and the other team hasn't won any since now the fact is that team a is no longer the 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 team that has the most championships now it's team b so facts in itself can change and can vary from uh from year to year from time to time yeah time can change facts into other facts right they but truths Mm -hmm. universal truths are things that don't change or do you think there's certain facts that don't cha- i mean not fact yeah certain facts that don't change right like mm. i i see your point like it's a fact that you jose worked at the academic media center in i don't know i'm just like 2016 or let's say and but now it's a fact that you work for music companies or something like just as an example so your job changed so it's no longer a fact that you work at the ag- academic media center. That fact, the fact of where you currently work has changed. That's what you're arguing. I also wonder, though, because I can think of an example, like, for example, like my birthday, the exact date of my birthday never changes. Doesn't matter how old I get. My age, though, the fact of how old I am, I'm 25 right now. That's a fact right now. But on May 5th, uh, this next coming May 5th, 2022, I'll be 26. That's a fact that will change on that date. Mm. But my actual birth date itself, it won't change. Facts, they do have the propensity to change. Doesn't mean that in 20 years, they maybe they won't change, right? Let's say it takes maybe 100 years for it to change. But the fact that it can change means that it's different from a truth. So a, a truth in itself can stand on its own. But a fact can essentially have different different ways of viewing it or different ways of uh of morphing i guess it can be morphed into different things you know somebody could come to san antonio in december and say well uh san antonio is the warmest place in the world during december right but then they go to uh arizona and it's warmer over there and then now arizona is the warmest place in the world during december we're basing a fact off of what somebody said so when we read the New York Times or when we uh, medium we're we're looking at, we're basing it off of what that group did research on, what that group saw, right? But at, then in that case, that news is just a fact based on what that group of people were able to capture together 
to form a conclusion. But at the end of the day, it could be that what they're saying is leading up to a truth or it could be leading or it could not. It could just be a fact, but it could easily be refuted by another fact. Gorillas can carry up to three times their body weight or something like that. Well, what if we find a gorilla that can carry four or five times their body weight? You're saying facts change as we discover new things about the world. Yes. And maybe like, like you said, facts can lead us to, to underlying truths. Yeah. It seems like we, just like when we do research for, to vote for a politician or something. And it seems like we derive truths from facts, from a combination of facts. We, this fact Mm. is true and this fact is true. Therefore this truth is true. Um, But then what happens if one of those facts changes? Oh no. (laughs) Can universal truths change? Can truths change? That's a good question. Like, I don't know. I mean, that's a hard question because well, maybe, 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 it, well, th- maybe this is, this is a thing, right? Well, what if we have the wrong truth about, about something then yeah. in itself was a fact. For example, right. when, when people uh, said that the earth was the center of the universe. Yeah. That's, that's what I was thinking about. Cause that used to be a universal truth. Yeah. Now it's the universal truth of that has changed. Yeah. Now, yeah. now it's the sun is the center and everything's revolving around it. So before it was thought to be a truth, but then through later research and investigation, people realized like, oh, well, the imaging uh, based on this telescope or this spaceship that we sent out shows that things are revolving in this certain direction. And based on that data, they can come to some sort of conclusion, which could either turn out to be a fact or it could either turn out to be a truth. I wonder if there's a danger of what's happening here is we're confusing truths with facts. Mm. What if that, what you just said is a fact, it's not even a truth. It's just like a fact that changed. Like the earth was the center of the universe. That was a fact. And now the fact is the sun is or something. Right. So maybe it wasn't a truth. It was just a fact that looked like it could be a truth, mm. but then it's like, we have to figure out what is the difference between a true, a universal truth and a fact at the same time. Like, doesn't it also seem that we we discover universal truths in the universe that occurred naturally, like gravity? Gravity is a universal truth that has existed since before we discovered it. I mean, even though we didn't discover it, it still exists. Yeah, so yeah, and I and I think that's that's to your point, like you know, and to the point that we were mentioning earlier, the truths are naturally just there. The they scum- cannot they cannot be erased. They cannot be uh, created. They are just there. Truth in itself is just there. It cannot change. It cannot morph. It it, it just is there. And so sometimes through our investigation and through our searching and through our knocking. Yeah, through our searching.